How did the Soviet air defense system shoot down the U-2 when flying at 70,000 feet? It was back in 1956 when the CIA initiated espionage missions against the Soviet Union. The sitting president, Eisenhower, was worried about a surprise attack and wanted to garner every bit of intelligence on the Soviet Union. The president knew that overflying the Soviet Union had become an increasingly contentious topic and required each overflying mission to be personally approved. Even though the U-2 was visible on the radar, the Soviet Union couldn't intercept the overflying U-2 aircraft as none of their fighter jets or missiles were capable of reaching an altitude of 70,000 feet. On May 1, 1960, CIA pilot Gary Powers took off from Pakistan, transgressing 2,900 miles over the Soviet Union. When the aircraft was flying over Russia, a much more capable surface-to-air missile launched from the Soviet S-75 high-altitude air defense system intercepted the U-2. The pilot miraculously survived the crash, and how he survived is something for the next part.